Good morning, Internet. I'm just uploading yesterday's vlog right now, so by the time you're watching this video, yesterday's vlog should already be up. Please be sure to go check it out. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Making some coffee. Having some breakfast. Butter on bread. Whole wheat with a vegetable omelet. Apple slices. Orange juice and coffee and water. I'm gonna have some dinner now. Um, so whole wheat round bread, plain, and my mom actually prepared uh, Nihari, which is just like really, really tender beef um, that was cooked like over a long period of time. Here's a Nihari. How'd you make it, mom? Listen. Had to get seconds. Okay, so she browned some garlic in Me? cooking oil. And um, then she added in the beef as well as the Nihari masala that we bought. We used the Shan Nihari masala. So she let the, the beef like roast um, a little bit and she kind of seared the 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 beef a little bit, the meat. Okay, then she added in eight glasses of water and let that cook for about five or six hours. Um, and she, whenever like she was searing the beef, she let the oil and the masala kind of separate out before adding the water. So after five or six hours, um, the the beef would have been completely tender. She mixed she mixed some wa some flour into the water, made it kind of runny, and then added it into the pot. So um, then it was cooking for about five. So the the flour itself was also cooking, and it was sort of kind of turning a bit like gooey. Um, Gravy. Okay, then she added, so then she browned some onion, like maybe half of an onion or so. Maybe one onion or so. Um, and she kind of browned it in a separate pan, like my skillet. And then she um, then added it into the pot. Then she added that into the pot. Um, like kind of like an onion tarka. Okay, then she added some cilantro. She chopped up some cilantro and left that cooking on the um, oven for another 10 minutes and then took it off. Um, you can also add ginger and like lime juice onto it um, like to add like more uh, as more of like um, a seasoning. It's like a, a really long cooking process, but I'm sure we'll make it again in the future. Love this stuff. By far, I think Nihari is one of the spiciest dishes I've ever had that's like Pakistani. And for me, the spicier the better. It's like, it's super, super spicy. It's like, like 
fire in your throat kind of spicy. Um, I don't like it to be like like less spicy. Um, the more spicy, the better for me. I'm addicted. You can imagine the beef is like really, really tender too compared to most of the other dishes I had growing up in my childhood. Um, I mean, it would just be like squares of beef, you know, like kind of cut up or ground beef. But this was completely different. It's very tender. There's like, it's, it's chuck roast. <laughs> Um, uh, beef, I guess, is like the cut that they're using for this, so. The gravy just by itself is actually really, really delicious, too. And then there's the beef right there, as you can see. I'm definitely not the kind of person that's like, that likes my, my meat overcooked. Um... But for Nihari, there's really no other way to make it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close the vlog for the night. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.